Today, I will be taking you to Bet Xi'an, also called Bet Xi'an, Beth Shan, and starting right before the New Testament period, it was named Scytopolis by the ruling Greeks. In fact, the majority of the ruins you will see here at this site is from the Greek and Roman periods. In the background, you can see Tel Bet Xi'an. Tel being a man-made mound consisting of multiple civilizations built on top of one another over a span of centuries. It is believed that 20 civilizations have been found at this site so far. Basically, any time Bet Xi'an was mentioned in the Old Testament, this is where it was located. Now, I'll touch on some of the ruins of Scytopolis, but I didn't get to explore all of it because we broke off from the tour group to climb the tail. When Rome took over Israel, they incorporated Scytopolis into the Decapolis, which was a ten-city federation. Scytopolis was not only the largest of the ten city-states, but it was the only one located on the west side of the Jordan River. As you enter, you see this center pathway called Palladius Street. This street, built on the Roman foundations, was one of the more elegant boulevards in the Byzantine era of Scytopolis, which was between the 4th and 6th century AD. The excavators named the street after Palladius, who was a 4th century governor of the city. Next, we have the public latrines, although the correct term is forica. There were no stalls, no separation between men and women. If you were alive back in the day and nature called, hopefully you weren't a shy person. This one is more elaborate than the one I showed you in my review at Caesarea. Here is the theater that is believed to have sat about 7,000 attendees. Entertainment consisted mainly of pantomimes and imitations. Occasionally, athletic competitions and acrobatic acts were presented. And sometimes the theater simply served as a gathering place where the citizens could air out their views on social and political issues. This theater was built at the end of the second century AD and was built on top of the original first century theater. Here is the Hippodrome. This was definitely used not only for gladiator fights, but also was the place that put Christians to death starting in the mid-first century AD. The Bible does not record Jesus coming here specifically, but it being less than 20 miles south of the Sea of Galilee and about 25 miles southeast from Nazareth, it's possible Jesus may have passed through here. The biblical event that took place at this site was at the tail during the Old Testament times. King Saul was Israel's first king, and after battling the Philistines in the Jezreel Valley, he and his army retreated to Mount Gilboa. This is where he made his last stand and was ultimately killed. In 1 Samuel 31, 8 through 10, the next day when the Philistines came to strip the dead, they found Saul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. They cut off his head and stripped off his armor, and they sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to proclaim the news in the temple of their idols and among their people. They put his armor in the temple of the Ashtaroths and fastened his body to the wall at Beth Shan. Most English translations refer to Beth Shan as Beth Shan. Here, I'm standing on the tail facing west. In the background, you see part of Mount Gilboa. So it's possible Saul and his three sons' bodies hung along this side of Bet Shean. However, the walls of the city from that time have not been excavated yet, so no one truly knows. The parts that have been excavated are a medieval times gate and the Egyptian governor's house dating back to the 12th century BC. Now, for some reason, my photos didn't come out for the governor's house, but here is a view of it from Google Earth. Now, going back to King Saul, from his fear, lack of faith, disobedience, his anger and jealousy of David, his love of the throne more than his love for God, and his ultimate demise, there is so much to unpack with his life. Perhaps I can break his story down in more detail in a future video. King Saul's entire story can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 10 through chapter 31. So this will conclude my brief review of Bet Shean. In my next review, I will be covering the fortress of Masada. Even though it was not mentioned in the Bible, it was built up by Herod the Great, and Jesus did reference the events that would take place here in Matthew chapter 24. This was a very important moment in Israel's past. Until next time, thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, you can check out my review of the town of Magdala, or my review of the Jordan River with my testimony as to why I felt led to get baptized a second time in my life.